Hello everyone, it's October 30th. I want to do a little quick video upload. Um, just want to kind of give everybody some words of encouragement here. Um, we're getting ready to go home. We know this. We know the hour is at hand. Um, I know we've all done our part trying to warn people, even our family members, those of us that have uh, noticed what's happening, those of us that have been separated. Um, there's people out there right now trying to make you feel like you should have, could have done more and all that stuff. Let me tell you something, man. I think we've all been trying to reach out to everybody that we could. I know I've been doing it now for about three years. I spent the last year on YouTube, plus I traveled around talking to people everywhere I've been. Now, I'm sitting at these campgrounds and I'm doing the YouTube. You just do the best that you can do, you know. I'm not able to get out on the street corner and do what I would do. Yeah, I wish I could reach more people. I wish there was a way of setting up and doing it. But unfortunately, I tried even getting the churches to wake up on this. They weren't awake. They didn't want to join in on this. And uh, they pretty much, you know, looked at me with a smile on their face like, like I was way off course. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> we didn't really get the true support from the people that we should have been getting it from. We didn't get it. Um... I wish I could say that we did, but we didn't. Anyhow, I'm going to check the earthquake report today. Y'all can do that too, because we know these earthquakes are a sign that we're getting ready to go home too. Just now looked at my clock and it's 3.32. Almost another minute it would have been 3.33. Well, it is now 3.33. Ain't that something? Um, we're getting ready to go. I know this. Um... I was looking at David and Goliath, you know, when he came up. Look at the faith that that young guy had, okay? When he said be because of his love for the living God, you know, and that these uncircumcised Palestinians coming up against them, Palestines, uh, they were fearful of them. And look, anybody comes up on that land in Israel, boy, they're going to regret it because... God's still there. His eyes watching down on everybody here. They made a fatal mistake turning turning against him. You guys have always heard me saying. Now, people, whether you want to repent, you repent from your sins, okay? All the time. Sometimes I have to wake up and repent from a dream I don't like I had. You know what I mean? But we repent from our sins. Some people ask about baptizing. Well, I say, you know what? John the Baptist says he baptized with water, but the one coming after him was it. That's Jesus, by the blood of Christ. But some people I told them, I said, you know, if you feel uh, you want to be baptized with water, make sure you know where your faith is. Your faith better be in Jesus Christ. Baptize, ask the Lord to uh, bless the water. Baptize yourself with it. Um, then I hear people talking about anointing themselves with oil. Let me tell you something. Ask the Lord to anoint, uh, to bless the oil, but uh, your faith has to be in Jesus Christ, okay? What he did on the cross, not on that oil or not on that water. It better be on the blood of Christ, man. That's the only thing that's going to save you. He took a beating on that. By his stripes we were healed and by the, his crucifixion and his blood. We are redeemed back to the Father in heaven. Now, we know in the Word of God, you guys always say, hear me saying, I don't keep up with this Illuminati garbage because, number one, it's all the things that were used to deceive us to where we are today, and they're going to further use it to deceive you even more to uh, when you should be reading the Word of God, keeping close to Jesus Christ, okay? Because it's written in the Bible here. Everything that ever happened to Israel back in the day, is when they turned away from God. And God brought their enemies against them. Okay, look at what happened to uh, Saul. He was worried, man, because they weren't living right. And why did, why did uh, um, he go get King David, or David, and anoint him to be the next king? He was anointed to be the next king. Because he said he, God wanted a man after his own heart. Okay, who wasn't afraid, whose faith was in the living God. And that's where we need to be. We need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus Christ, not on this garbage in this world, because everything here is going to, it's fixed to be destroyed. We don't need to know it. We know the ends here. We know what's getting ready to happen. 
So be focused on that, okay? Don't be deceived. Look at in the history of everything that happened to Israel. Every time they turned away from God, they were destroyed. Look at what America did. They turned away from God. It's about to be destroyed. Make no mistakes about it. We, This place is about to be destroyed. And we should have lots and lots of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, okay? Because he didn't separate us to abandon us here. He separated us for a reason, okay? But know this, your faith should be in him. Nothing in this world. Stay focused on Jesus Christ. I've had uh, a lot of stuff coming up lately to trying to distract me wearing me out with stuff that's got nothing to do with Jesus Christ don't let that happen to you man stay focused pay attention okay God bless you and I love each and every one of you